Oh, hi. <laughs> Are you a pasta and pizza lover like everyone else in the world? <laughs> Italy has us addicted to cheese for our pasta dishes. But how can one enjoy a pasta or pizza meal when vegan? Well, when there's a will, there's a way. I'm going to share with you the main ingredient for making a cheesy pasta that is a 100% vegan. You can add other ingredients to make the cheese. However, the main ingredients are the nuts, lime, and sea salt. Take a look at what you need on the list and start gathering your grocery list. I will be making pasta so the ancient grains is the best pick for your pasta dishes. After soaking the Brazilian nuts for at least two hours to overnight in water and sea salt, preferably filtered or distilled water, you're going to transfer the nuts in the Nutribullet or food processor with the lime, coconut milk, sea salt, and other spices. The mixture between the nut and the lime creates that cheesy taste. So as you see, the nuts and the lime are connecting to make a cheesy mix. As a cheese lover, I was so happy to find these ingredients online. This makes being a vegan so easy. You can even use this cheese to make like vegan pizza. And maybe I can share that with you another day. Time to mix the ingredients. You can add a little more water as you go along if the nuts are too thick, depending on the consistency you're looking for. Since this is for a creamy pasta dish, I'm looking for a smooth, semi-thick texture. Check out the consistency. It's ready to connect with the pasta. Time to add the other components of the dish. I'm adding oyster mushrooms with the pasta. Please check out my video on this for details on how to make it. It's pretty simple. Since oyster mushrooms have that seafood taste, I'm fulfilling my cravings for, let's say, shrimp fettuccine alfredo. I told you I'm vegan and I'm, t <laughs> and I'm not turning back. Okay, time to make the pasta. 
First, boil your water with some added sea salt. Then you add your spaghetti and cook it until it's al dente. Gotta add my garlic to the pasta. Authentic Italian ingredients. I'm adding arugula and cherry tomatoes. The word on the street is, arugula is a green that can combat cancer, promotes libido, and of course helps with vitamin K as it's a leafy green. If you're taking medications such as Coumadin, be sure to speak to your doctor regarding this green intake because vitamin K promotes clotting, the opposite of Coumadin's effects. Fennel seeds. It has a licorice taste but it's great for pasta dishes as it helps with the indigestion. I actually drink fennel tea to help combat IBS. Add a little fennel in the pasta. So after boiling the pasta and removing the water, I added the seasonings to taste, along with the garlic, arugula, and tomatoes. Add your seasonings before the cheese. The perfect time is to add the oregano, sea salt, and basil spices, such as that. You know, you can add it, just taste it, see if it suits you, keep it moving. <laughs> Look how thick and cheesy it looks. It's ready. So simple. Take a look. Time to mix. The pasta is done. Taste it to ensure you have enough spices. Just add according to your taste buds, as I mentioned before. The meal is done. Garnish it with scallions and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, stay blessed.